Welcome to Xamarin Pump Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to integrate App Center inside our Xamarin Pump application. Basically, App Center is used for build our application, automatically build our application. Also, we can uh, test it inside our uh, real devices, and uh, also um, App Center help us to distribute the application to the App Store. And also it will uh, uh, collect the crash reports and also it will show the uh, generate the uh, application analytics and also the introducing the custom events and also it is helpful for so the uh, push notification in our application so basically in this video we are going to in implement our app center basically we want to get the crash reports and the analytics inside our Xamarin form application so when we build our application we can debug it and also uh, if any exception found then it will source the crash reports okay so uh, so while debugging our application we can get the exception messages and also the exception logs will be uh, shown to our visual studio output so uh, but uh, when uh, our application is on production mode we don't have any option to get the exception report so we need to use the app center and using the app center we can uh, get the crash report also so after getting the crash report we can understand the what type of crash report and what type of exception occurred inside our application and then after that we can uh, modify our application okay so in this video we are going to implement the app center inside our xamarin pump project so to implementing xamarin is to implementing app center inside our xamarin, xamarin pump project we have to um, download it and we have to use a new you get uh, inside our xamarin form application so right click on the solution and click on manage the new get package for solution and here search for app center so uh, here is the microsoft app center we need to install it throughout our all of these projects so i'm going to install it the let uh, i'm going to install the latest stable version inside all of my projects so this NuGet package successfully installed to our application. So after installing this app center packages, we need to install this app Microsoft dot app center dot classes also. So install this app center dot classes inside our project. And also we have to use install this app center dot analytics. So these three packages installed to our application and uh, now we are going to implement this app center inside our Xamarin form application. To, uh, add, to implement this app center inside our application we need to go to the we can use uh, we can implement it inside our platform specific project and also we can use it inside our PCL project also. So first of all we need to create an account inside our uh, application app center and inside this app center we have to create a new application so here is the app center login so after successfully login we are going to create a new application and uh, click on the add new button and add new app let me give the app name test app and also we are going to add the release type as production and also the OS is Android and our platform is Xamarin okay so click on the add new app so after adding this new app uh, here is the app center SDK setup documentation and here uh, it shows that we can implement it inside our platform specific project so if you uh, if we want to um, implement it uh, only Android project so we have to go to the main activity.cs file and uh, after going to the main activity.cs file here is the main activity.cs file and inside this file we have to add this code and this code will contain the application token but we uh, we are using Xamarin form application, so uh, so that is the main reason we are uh, not implementing the platform specific code. So we just uh, use the Xamarin form. So select the Xamarin form here, 
and um, here, this documentation says that uh, we need to use the uh, we need to implement this code inside our app.xml.cs so copy this code and go to the app.xml.cs file and inside this app.xml.cs file and it swings that uh, we need to add this on start method so here is our on start method and just paste it okay so i'm going to add the namespace and analytics for microsoft app center analytics and also for, for crashes okay it's done so uh, here we are just adding the android token for app center but when we also want to add for the ios we need to create an another application for ios also so after creating the new application for ios also so here i am creating the test app underscore ios and also the release type is production and the os is ios and the platform is xamarin that's it so go to the documentation and here just copy this token okay fine and add to your ios for ios okay so uh, we don't need to use for uwp so i'm going to remove this okay that's it so uh, we are going to implement the app center inside our ios project and android project also so that is the main reason we are using two token one is for android and second one is ios so that's it so let me create an exception and uh, let's see this exception uh, report will be posted to our app center or not so uh, i'm going to open my new content page okay so here is our a button and uh, i'm giving the name of this button is make a exception and the on inside on click button i am dividing a number by zero and it will generate an exception so uh, let me click on this button so uh, i am clicking on this make exception button so after clicking on this make exception button uh, the exception will be thrown and it swings that system divide by zero exception and attempted to divide by zero let's click click on continue so uh, it will throw an exception let's see this exception is sent to the app center or not so click on the application and this application is for android and go to the diagonal assist and here is the class reports so uh, this uh, class report showing that button click event and system divide by zero exception so that means this class report is uh, uploaded to the app center okay so uh, sometimes this class report will not send to the application center and uh, the application will not able to send the class report uh, so uh, what we need to do that uh, sometimes for when the application thrown and accepts and this application our application will uh, terminate to our android system so uh, for to prevent crashing our application we use try catch block so basically when we use try catch block the exception will not thrown and the exception will be handled on the catch block so at that time we need to use the second method is so uh, i'm going to move this code here okay and add crashes dot track error and pass the exception and this line also send the exception report to the app center also so that's it help of app center we can track the crashes report uh, when uh, our application is on pro production mode so it is very helpful for the production mode when our application is on the um, production mode uh, when we uploaded it to the app, app store we need to get the crash report from the user so 
this is very helpful for us so when we debug our application we don't need to use this application setup this is basically the purpose is for the production stage so that's for today thank you for watching have a great day